Thank you for joining this quick Getting Started screencast, brought to you by Salesforce Support. To see more content like this, hit subscribe and tap the bell so you get notified when we drop more content. In this screencast, we're going to get started with how to retrieve and deploy using SFDX MD API versus source commands by going through two different use case scenarios. In scenario one, we'll retrieve metadata from a non-source org, a developer, sandbox, or production org, and deploy it from a local repo to another non-source org. In scenario two, we'll retrieve metadata from a non-source org and push it to a source org, or a scratch org, to maintain source tracking. Let's look at the scenarios one by one. Scenario 1, Retrieve and Deploy using MD API command. Step 1, start with your project. We already have created a project named SFDX Demo using the SFDX Force Project Create command. Step 2, make sure you have also authorized the org from where you want to retrieve metadata using this command, SFDX Force Auth Web Login. Step 3. Retrieve the metadata from the dev org using mdapi command mdapi retrieve, where the target username is your source org from where you need to retrieve metadata, and dash r retrieve is the target folder where retrieved metadata gets stored. Here in the project folder SFDX demo, we'll check under the retrieve folder. We see we have the unpackaged zip folder. And in that, we have the Objects folder, where we have retrieved metadata, which is in metadata format, MDAPI. So we do not need to run an additional command for conversion. Step 4. Now deploy the retrieved metadata using MDAPI deploy command. Where target username is the target org where we need to deploy the retrieved metadata, and zip file is the unpackaged zip under the retrieve folder. So this way, we can use MDAPI command when we need to use metadata in MDAPI format where source tracking is not required. Let's take a look at Scenario 2, Retrieve and Deploy using Source Command. Step 1, Retrieve the metadata from your dev org using Source Command Source Retrieve, where target username is the source org from where you want to retrieve metadata and package.xml file, which contains the component to retrieve. In this scenario, where we use the source retrieve command, metadata gets retrieved in the folder which is defined in the path of the sfdx project.json file. Like in this case, it's force app, main, default, objects, so you can see the retrieved metadata is already converted to SFDX format without any additional command to convert it to SFDX format. Step 2. Now push the retrieved metadata to your scratch org using source push command. Or if you are deploying, use the source deploy command. In our example, we are using source push. In this way, we can use MD API versus source retrieve or deploy depending upon different scenarios. For example, where we want to maintain source tracking and where we do not. For more information, check out help.salesforce.com or join us on the trail at trailblazer.salesforce.com.